All right, so I started to make a video just now about something, but as soon as I got my wife's car, again for the second time today, I looked around and I said, you know what? I am going to put that video on hold and talk about that another day because I want to talk about my wife's car right now. <sighs> ladies, 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 ladies. Fellas, listen to me. I'm not gonna show you my wife's car, all right? Just take my word for it. It's not the cleanest thing in the world. It's not. Every time I get in this car with her, I have to basically find somewhere to sit and somewhere to put my feet. And then I will look at my wife and be like, yo. And she will hit me back with, well, why don't you just clean it out? Okay. Now here goes <clears throat> the, my dilemma, or my issue. Out of a month's time span, I may drive my wife's car three to five times, maybe, in a month. So that really doesn't consider me driving her car all the time like that, right? I mean, that's a very small percentage, very small number. So. The rest of the time, I mean, it's her car. She's driving her car. Why do I have to clean her car out? Somebody please help me understand. Because when I get in this car, everything I bring in, I take out. Which is next to nothing. I don't leave any kind of cups. Papers. Food. None of that stuff in my wife's car. Never have, never will. That's just not me. But let's uh switch switch the tables real quick. She has to borrow my my, my truck for whatever reason. All right? I guarantee to you, when I get my truck back, it's gonna be all types of stuff in there. And I'm like, wow, how how did a damn dump accumulate in my truck in a damn hour or two time span? That is impossible. But when I say, come on, man, you gonna get that? It's always, it's your truck, you get it. And I'm like, yo, I didn't bring this mess in here. This is your crap. Come on, man. That ain't right. That's not right. But this is the game that women play. Y'all do this, ladies. Y'all do this. You will always hit us with the, well, why don't you do it? If you love me, you'll do it. First of all, love don't got nothing to do with how you keep your damn car. Oh, I love you. I love you to death. And ladies out there, I'm quite sure you're your spouse loves you to death. But don't 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 do that. <laughs> don't play that game where, oh baby, can you can you clean it for me? Because we don't drive your stuff. We don't drive your cars like that. Now if you share in a car, that's one thing. Okay? But if I have mine and you have yours. And the majority of the time you're in yours and I'm in mine. The mess that you make in your car is your mess. Clean after yourself. Clean your crap up. It's not that hard. But see, let me tell you what my wife would do. <laughs> She'll have an excuse as to, well, I'll, I have the kids in my car, so forth and so on. Okay, I have them in my truck. But I have rules. Oh, that's messed up because 
What if somebody get hungry or whatever? What, if they get hungry, they're going to starve till we get to where we're going. Because I don't allow nobody to eat or drink in my ride. Nah, not going to happen. You could have the damn dry mouth. Your mouth can be dry as the damn Sahara Desert. I give the damn. When we get to where we're going, you can do what you got to do. But while we in my my car, my, my truck, it's not going down. Sorry. Oh, man, when we take trips and we have to go in my in my truck somewhere, they, everybody, we take a mommy car, right? Because mommy has no rules in her car. It is what it is. And that's why I said my wife, I said, why don't you just set some damn rules? Your car would be so much cleaner if you quit allowing these little pigs we got called our kids or our children to stop making a damn mess in your car. I don't, I don't let them do it in mine, so you shouldn't let them do it in yours. Sounds simple to me. You know? You in your car, and I mean, it shouldn't... It sh my kitchen should not be in the car with me. But my wife, you know, she drinks coffee, so she has coffee cups everywhere, you know what I'm saying, plates, and oh man, let me, don't let me start with the shoes, right? And I'm like, come on, man. Is it that hard to, when you get out, take it with you? But again, this is what my woman does, and I'm quite sure a lot of women out there, because I'm always hearing my male friends talk about how their woman, how their women car how, 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 how junk it is all the time. So I'm like, you know, it might look good on the outside, but on the inside, mm, nah, it's not, it's not a pretty story, you know? And it's, and it's a lot of women around here, a lot of pretty girls, a lot of pretty women driving around in these cars. Oh, you see them, you know, riding, flossing, whatever, whatnot. Walk up to that car real quick and just and, and peek inside and, and, and tell me what you see. It's gonna be a little pig pen in there, man. Now the women that keep their stuff top notch, I commend you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you, you you women ought to come out more and start talking to your sisters out here. You know what I'm saying? Tell me, hey man, get, get your get your get your car game together. You know, you can't just look on the outside. You gotta look on the inside too, boo. You feel me? But I'm not going to clean your car. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Plus, you know, women, y'all got this thing where anything a man could do, a woman could do too. Well, clean your damn car. <laughs> clean your damn car. Women, equal equal rights for women, women's rights, all that good stuff. You have the right to clean your damn car. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do it for you. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a special occasion, but no. Nah. Just because you're nasty, not gonna do it, ladies. DJ is not going to do it. I'm sorry. So, you know. Fellas, fellas, come on, man. Let, talk to me in this video, man. Let me know. Let me know if, if you go through the same thing that I'm going through right now. I'm quite sure you do. And, 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 and look, don't be modest. Say how you really feel. All right? Say how you really feel. Let me know. Okay? All right. So we're we'll in it right there. I'm quite sure when my wife sees this, she's going to to choke me. But it's all good because the same thing I say on this video, I've said to her, to her face. So it's not like I'm talking behind her back. Anyway, with that being said, you already know what it is. It's your boy DJ, Miss NC Stand Up. Y'all be easy, and I'll get at y'all later. Deuces.